I do hope you're doing well. Right, we knew this video was coming, my lovelies. It is the haul of all hauls. It is the haul of all of our outlets that we went to when the shops opened up. If you haven't seen the vlog, it was yesterday's upload. I'll leave it down there, up above, you know the drill. But we are surrounded by goodies. And you know the best part? They was all discounted. Because we've gone to an outlet, you get, I think it's at least 20 or 25% off minimum. Some were over 50% off. So... Well, I don't quite know <laughs> how I'm going to manoeuvre this yet. I need to try and get my way in. I think I'm going to split it by outlets. So we went to Ashford, which is over in Kent. We went to Braintree, which is in Essex. And we went to Bicester, Bicester, however you say it, in Oxfordshire. So let me try and sort this into like some cohesive piles. And hopefully I won't be surrounded as much. And we can get on with the video. But make sure you get comfy because... I'm going to be going into quite a bit of depth, giving you the prices and all of that jazz. So, let's finally have our haul of all hauls, the outlet tour. Yay! So, my lovelies, we are going to kick off with Ashford, which if you've seen the shopping vlog, we had a little detour over to Ken. We went to Primark at Blue Water. Oh, my God. If you've not seen this month's haul, go over and see. I was so excited to be back. And then we had a little detour to Ashford. Ashford, I think, is a good mixture. It has a bit of sportswear, so you've got your Nike, your Adidas, you've got your Polo, Ralph Lauren, that is a classic. You've got some sweets, so you've got Haribo, Lindor, there's plenty of little snacks there. Patisserie Valerie, I don't have them to show you because me and Mama G have already scoffed our faces with them, but we've got six nice fresh cream cake slices. I got two Bailey's bombs. Oh, absolutely delicious if you are a cake lover i highly recommend then you have like what i call your designer but mainstream so we've got calvin klein ted baker you know you go out to pop into doc martin's homeware we have a very heavy yankee candle bag and then fashion wise as i say there's quite a mixture Calvin Klein, you have a Gap, an m and um, I think there's a Tommy Hill figure, Ted Baker. There's a good selection. And also an Ugg. Did I need anything else from Ugg? Probably not, but when it's on a bargain and I've been cooped up for four months, I just needed to go in there. So, when we got in there, we weren't too bad traffic-wise. We got in and the first stop was... Haribo. I had a list from Dada and my god my lovelies if you know how much he's been hounding me to hurry up and get this filming done because he's like I want my snacks. Give me my snacks I don't want to wait. I'm like no you can hold on I need to film the video first Dada. So we had a little bit of a problem in Haribo. We come out perfectly fine. We've got one bag got a second bag and would you believe it can you see me? <laughs> Mama G snapped the handle. So we was walking around Ashford and all of a sudden the bag broke and it was a palaver to say the least. So I had to, luckily not a lot come out. It was just a couple of the boxes. So I was like, right, we're just taking that to the car. Apologies if I'm going to have to keep stopping for sneezing because it is hay fever season, my lovelies. Apologies if I have to keep stopping to sneeze. It is hay fever season and my God, is my hay fever being a mmm to me. So let's kick it off with Haribo. So the broken bag, let's start. Right, Haribo, I think we spent, I'm going to say about 20 to 25 pounds. They had an offer where you got an extra 10% off if you'd spent 20 pounds. So called Dada, see what he wanted, and he was like, yep, yeah, here we go. So they had this big box. You will find in the outlets at the moment there is a lot of like Halloween and Christmas stock, especially in like the sweet shops, because they obviously just wasn't open, but they still had the stock there. Lindor had a big range of Easter bits. They had the huge East or Lindor bunny, and it was only a tenner, and I was like do I, do I treat myself? I thought, no, I stick with pick and mix. So this was 36 bags, I believe. Oh, 32. And I think they were like 150 or two pounds. It's literally just the trick or treat and that in date until November this year. So it gives Dada plenty of time to stuff his face. But let's be honest, right, I'm really sorry. My face, if anyone is a hay fever sufferer, if you're not sneezing, your eyes are itchy. If your eyes ain't itchy, your skin's itchy. I do apologise. I'm going to try and refrain from 
scratching my eyeballs and face to oblivion. But yes, he ain't gonna, they're not gonna be there until November, let's be honest. They're probably gonna be gone within the end of the week. And then they had, did we separate the bags? Let's put them in there. They had an offer, I think it was six bags for five pounds. So we'll get onto that because he got six bags and me and Mama G got six bags. But we picked him up a 960 gram box of cola bottles he absolutely loves cola bottles and i think these were 455 pound and yes it is terrible but he said hurry up because he's, he can eat this in probably a couple of sittings so i was tempted to open it and like take half for myself but i think because he's been waiting like a week i think he would have an absolute meltdown you'd think the guy's been waiting like two three months but literally it's been a week I'm filming this the weekend after we went and oh my god he has not stopped hounding me and on the terms of being hounded i said to brandon oh i picked you up some malwams they had this big box which where are you is 120 pieces 840 grams if you know anyone who is a malwam lover so i got it in the stripes but you can get them in the pinballs the long chews the mini light hard block chews and also with these tubs you can get like cherries the strawberries lick all sorts they had jelly babies in there so it's not just like cola bottles or whatever the majority of stuff you can get in the bags you can also get in tubs if you want and he has been handing me every single day this week can i pop by after work and you can give me my sweets i'm like no i need to film it oh but why i'm like b hold your horses darling i've treated you so you can wait a week for it so yes best believe now i film this on monday he'll probably be detouring from work knocking on the door to mama g being like can i get my sweets please so yes big tub and as i say 455 pound which i don't know if you've got kids i keep saying kids but i'm not a child um if you've got kids a couple of boxes of them if you want to do like little sweet hampers just to like brighten up their day they had a lot of um easter stuff like easter chicks and that but obviously easter has gone so i didn't need anything for that oh we've got another loose bag of sweets so that was the two boxes that broke the bag and then we get on to the bags of sweets so we'll just tip them out shall we Whee! yay sweets galore so we got quite a selection as you can tell so as i say these were six four five pound right daddy's very basic he literally just wanted originals and gold bears so i think oh no and he wanted cola bottles you know like i've got to try and remember now because if i give him the wrong bag of sweets oh my god he's gonna have a meltdown so oh and of course we've got some souvenirs in here you can't go and not get some little souvenir harry bow pieces and also please tell me how do you say it? I say Haribo, but mum and dad call it Haribo. Where the hell have they got Haribo from? I've never heard anyone call it that, but mum and dad call it Haribo. I call it Haribo. Majority of people I know call it Haribo, but please do let me know because I think mum and G and Dada are a bit wacko for calling it Haribo. And when we was in there, I was like, please do not say anything because i was waiting for her to say do you your dad want a pack of these haribos and i could just imagine people looking so luckily she didn't say it i am now losing track of who's got what right let me just try and figure this out and we'll get back to the darlings right i think we've got it dad literally got three packs of the normal haribo and then he also had three packs of the original gold bears. I thought he had the cola bottles, but I forgot he's got the big box. Anyone else? Gold bears? Oh my god, they had a big, like, life-size bear. It was a clear one, and then you opened it. It had all the mini bags in. I loved gold bears as a child. Like, that is probably one of my most favourite childhood sweets ever. But as you can tell, me and Mama G, we got a little bit of a mixture. So, we got two packs of the lovely gold bears mama g wanted some happy cola bottles she didn't want the huge one and then because i mean like i know christmas has gone but you know that i just can't help myself so i picked up the haribo star mixless this was the christmas edition which i didn't even see in the thing and oh my god oh my god i've got itchy nose now this is a surprise 
This is a surprise. Hold on a minute. <gasps> My lovelies are Christmas flavoured. So the egg is eggnog. The cola bottle is apple strudel. The rings are cherry crumble. The green rings are apple strudel and custard. The hearts are a trifle. And the gold bears are gingerbread. Oh my God, why did I not pay more attention to this look? <gasps> oh my God, I'm gonna be loving life tonight. I am on my health kit, yes, but weekends are cheat days, so I can overindulge. Oh my God, why did I not breathe this properly? I would've got more. And who is messaging me? Let me have a look. Look at that, Dada. Hurry up and finish filming and get my snacks up. I'm literally filming as we speak. That is one impatient man. Oh my God, I'm gonna be loving life with them tonight. We've got giant straws. I mean, can you go to Haribo and not get a pack of giant straws? And I haven't seen these. It said kids and grown-ups love it. So they're Haribo milkshakes, vanilla, banana, and strawberry. They reminded me, you know, you used to get the foam bananas and the shrimps. Oh my God. Down at the seafront getting your pick and mix. Yes, please. So that was ours. And then, of course, we've got to get some little souvenirs. Now, we did get these last time we went down. Like, it weren't last Christmas, the Christmas before. But mum's lost her pen. So we picked up a Haribo pen for, I think this was £1 or one fifty, And then... We've already got a red one, so I was like, we'll go for like the golden one. They have about five or six colours of these, and they're the little Haribo bear fridge magnets. And I was just like, we need that. That one was two pad, but we got a little discount, so it was like one eighty, which probably is quite a lot for a magnet. But hey ho, I like that. And now I shouldn't have started with the sweets because, especially now I've seen that Christmas mix, I'm gonna want to be stuffing my face of sweets through this whole haul. No, let's, that's Haribo done, and let's get on with Lindor. <laughs> right, so, Lindor, and listen, oh, can you hear it? Now, I love the Lindor shop, like, absolutely love it, because you can go in and do your own pick and mix, and that, to me, just fills my heart with such content, and, of course, Dada was like, yeah, I want some too. I was like, you don't even really like Lindor. He was like, I'll have some. So I was like, fabulous. So we went in. And as soon as you went in, you had the classic bunnies. So Dada, he only really eats um, milk chocolate. So we just got him the classic Lindor gold bunny. This was, I think, 2 50 for the bigger one. And then I just got a little Diddy hazelnut guy. He was 120 or 150 I believe. So we got our little rabbits. And then, oh my god, if you have not tried these and you like hazelnut chocolate, please go and try them. They're called Nokia Latte. Nokia Latte, I think that's how you say it. They're 80p a bar in the outlet, and oh my god, what does it actually say? It's all in Italian. Oh god, this is great. Oh no, milk chocolate with hazelnut filling and whole hazelnut. And guys, I love hazelnut chocolate, and so does Dada. I think that's where I get it. And I saw these, and they was like, you know, right by the hill where you've already got your basket full of goodies, and it's just like, why don't you have a bit more? 80 or 90p, these were. Highly recommend if you can get your hands on it. And then, right, Dada is, however, quite boring when it comes to chocolate. So these were two for three pounds, I believe, and they are milk chocolate with whole hazelnuts and caramelized nut pieces 34 percent hazelnuts so these are kind of like the extra version of lint bars as i say is it lint or lindor or are they two different brands of chocolate i'm getting so confused now lint lindor oh no lindor lint it's the same thing sorry my lovelies i thought i was telling you the wrong brand there so these ones are kind of like the bougie lint bars because they've got the pieces in they had salted caramel, mint, uh, orange chocolate, chocolate orange. They had ones with, I think, like a marzipan and an almond in it. But we just went a bar for me, a bar for Dada, and I cannot wait to be sinking my teeth into them. But as I say, Dada is very, like, basic, really, when it comes to his chocolate, and he just likes plain milk chocolate. Well, we had a bargain with these, my lovelies. So these are the Lint Excellence range, 45% cocoa. So we was going around picking up his bars and I was like, oh, 
that's strange. They had these on one area and it said, I think, £2. And then when we went to the other end, they was down to 99p. So we picked up the last four on the shelf. So he is well and truly stocked up on that. And my lovelies, if you've been in a Lindor Lint little shop, you know what I'm going on about. I'm getting tongue twisted because I can't remember what one I'm saying. They're pick and mix best part now i need to go through this because i done my bag and mum done dada's bag and then when we got there the woman said oh if you get like another 10 chocolates you go up a tier on the way and then you get a bigger discount so i just grabbed them and put them in one so i do need to look at these because i don't think i've put them in dada's i think and they shouldn't have because it should be half and half you know sharing's caring but oh one's fell out We'll keep that for later. That can be my little snack. So we just got two bags of pick a mix and my lovelies. Have you ever seen a better little thing of pick a mix? We have got everything and anything in there. They do little chocolate pieces. They do little chocolate balls. They even do, I thought these were quite good. They're like milk chocolate pieces, but they're little emoji faces. And then you have obviously all your different colour balls. So we've got caramel, I got some mango white chocolate. I'm very excited to try these. Also, probably what I'll be doing is one night on Instagram. Will it be my food or lifestyle? Not entirely sure, but I'll leave them all down in the description box below when we go through them because I have picked up a few new ones. As I say, I've never tried the white chocolate mango. I haven't tried the pistachio. What else have we got in there? A caramel, I don't think I've tried that. So I might be doing like a little taste test or if say on a Friday or Saturday night I'm just in watching a film and I want some a little chocolate, we can go through that. But honestly guys, it's literally like Willy Wonka's factory. They're all different colours, they're all colour coded and they are just phenomenal. I absolutely love them and as I say, that's my bag compared to Dada's bag. Yeah, I definitely need to take some of the extras out that I put in there because... He can't be having more than me now, can he? So, yes, I would highly recommend, if you love hazelnut chocolate, try the Grande Hazelnut Bars. I say that's what it's like. You want to take a screenshot, but obviously they will be a lot more expensive in your local supermarket. And this Nocolate Bar, oh, my God, I cannot wait to sink my teeth into those. And what do we go for next? Let's go for Ted Baker. I only popped in because I wanted a bag and the bag I wanted was quite expensive on the website. So I was like, you know what? If I can find one that I like in the shop and it's at a discounted rate, I'll just go with that. And I'm still holding out. I don't know with my big fifth bag whether to treat myself for my birthday or not. I'm still contemplating that, my lovelies. But I picked this up. This was supposed to be £35 and it was £19 in the outlet. And I thought, you know what? It's just perfect for the upcoming season of spring and summer. And I quite like these style bags. So it's kind of like, what would you call this, my lovelies? I call it like a little clutch. They call it an envelope pouch. So whatever floats your boat. But you've just got the little strap. And then it's just this off-white, almost light grey periwinkle with a parrot on it. And you've got Mr. Parrot on the back. And I thought, you know what? Oh, have I got a little sticker on there? Let's take that off. We can't be having that on there, can we? Oh, my God. I'm so scared to do anything with my nails because they're, like, hanging on by a wing and a prayer. Like, they need to get sorted legit fast. And then it's just got your little bit in the middle. And it's just, like, a pure ivory silk lining. And you know what? I love these because when you go out and literally all you want is card, maybe a little bottle of perfume, and I don't know. I always go out with my laptop. This also fits my laptop ipad this fits my ipad in as well so it's great and you can just go and you can either have it very casually just like holding it like that or i normally hold them like that or under my arm but for 19 quid it's a lot better than the price of the bag i was looking at in ted baker but hey ho ted baker has really good stuff the ashford one is i'd say a decent size braintree i think is the biggest if I remember correctly. I didn't actually go in the one at Bicester because I thought I've already been in two. I don't need to go in another one. But Ashford is a decent size. You have your men's clothing department and they do like a few holdalls and ties and cufflinks, jewellery. And then the women's, you have a few coats, summer dresses, tops. 
there's a few bags along the back with shoes and trainers and then like a little odds and bobs section in the middle where you've got like a few scarves makeup bags bits and bobs like that oh my god i don't know what to go for next <laughs> right we're just gonna have to get this over and done with did I really need anything from Ugg? No. Did I see an absolutely fall in love? I was like, yes. Right, can you tell from the box what these possibly could be? If you can, leave it in the comments down below. You're probably going to moan at me and you're probably going to say, did you need them? No, but I just fell in love. Can you, I've just seen that you can see the colour down below. These are not going to be to everyone's taste. Likewise, with the ones that I got at Christmas, they're not going to be to everyone's taste. But I saw these and I thought I've got the pink moccasins and then I've got the pink like flip-flop style ones, which are a replacement for my very old tattered ones. But when I saw these, the colour, I just couldn't resist Guys, I know they're not going to be to everyone's cup of tea. I, on the other hand, absolutely love them. And I thought they was ones that you just put your foot straight through. But it's not. It's got like a little partition in the middle. So, oh my God, absolutely in love. And they had these in a lilac, a mint, a powder blue, a grey and a white. I was eyeing up the mint green as well. But mum was like, no, come on. This is like quite excessive amount of Ugg slippers you have now but they weren't a bad price I thought what were they so they're originally 70 pound and they was down to 46 so like what 46 this is 24 quid off I can't wait I'm gonna do a nice little glow up with me which I think is gonna be the next video I think so I'm not entirely sure so I'm gonna be the next one or the one after but I cannot wait to give myself like a nice little mani-pedi, put my nice little slippers on and just love life. But yeah, I said to Brandon I'd bought a new pair of slippers and he was like, what ones? And I said, Ugg. And I really like the ones with the big, they're like the chunky, I think they're called fluffy slide with the elasticated bit on the back. I've got a jute, me and mum got a pair for Christmas. And um, he was like, please tell me you've not bought them. And I showed him them and he was like, I don't know what's worse. I was like, don't say that about my little fluffy lemon slippers. Like, not happy. But, hey-ho, they're going on my feet, not his. And when my feet are lovely and warm in the little fluffy sliders, what can we do? Right. Let's go with this. I have always seen this shop at Alex and just never ventured in. So, we've got Estee Lauder Company's one side. But it's actually the Cosmetics Company store. And... I've got a few little bits, I'm not going to lie. I thought when I went in there, yeah, we'll have a look. And then saw a few things and a few things turned into a few things more. And here we are today, my lovelies. So the main reason I went in there was I want to start trying more Too Faced products. And I tried to get a sit at Christmas and I just couldn't. And I've got my little ones from 2019 the Christmas edition little lip glosses and they're so cute. So when I saw these, these were, what are you, 19 pound, one was 19, one was 20 and they were down to 14 and 13 50. But it is the melted matte Christmas editions. Oh, would help if I had it round the right way for you, my lovelies. The melted matte Christmas editions. So one is gingerbread man and a gingerbread girl. Now, when I saw these, because obviously there's not like testers at the moment, so I had to just kind of guesstimate from the packaging. But, oh my god, I can just tell I love these. They're like the perfect, oh yes. Oh, if this is Dada again, like stop. No. Thank goodness for that. So one, obviously the gingerbread man is this one. This is almost like a darker red one. And then this is a gorgeous brown. And look at how cute the tops are with the little gingerbread on. Oh my God. And also, aren't Too Faced products supposed to smell like that scent? Like the chocolate bronzer supposed to smell like chocolate. Oh my God. That is amazing. Like legit. Oh, 
I'm not waiting till Christmas to put those on my lips. These are going on my lips like from October, let's just say. Oh my God, I'm in love. I am in actual love. If you can get your hands on these, my lovelies, I would highly recommend. And now, if the formula is as good as what I hear, I think I could be slightly addicted because I know at autumn they do like pumpkin spice. I might be partial to getting a pumpkin spice. So yes, I treated myself to two little liquid lipsticks from Too Faced. Absolutely love those. And then, I thought these were a real good bargain. So they're from Smashbox. I've got a few little bits from Smashbox. Used to love their primer and water. And I got like a bronze metallic lip gloss. So nice. These were £13.50 down to £4.05. and pence. So... You know your girl had to pick up all four, right? So we've got a couple of normals and then a couple of metallics. And I think from the gist that I get, again, I've got to be very careful because my nail was hanging on by a wing and a prayer. Love this. So these are the bigger versions of the little baby one that I've got on a dofa. And I love it when it's on that little sponge. Look at me trying to be a makeup artist. Because they just glide on so easily. So we've got a lovely nude. This one is called Slay Tan. Please let me know as well if you've tried any like Too Faced products or Smashbox. Are they worth it? Are they good? The formulas? Let me know. Oh, that's a gorgeous shade for the summer and autumn. Love it. I'm going to be waffling so much. This is already going to be such a lengthy video. I do apologise. But I don't want to do it all in like odds and bobs. I just want to get it all in one. And you can have a nice little catch up with us. Another little. That's almost like a goldy nude. And then the last one I got. Now I got this for more for like Halloween vibes. It just screamed out to my dark side. It's called Punk Rock. And I just saw it and I was like yes. Do you know about you? I love like a nice grey gloss. Oh no, don't look at me, Kenan. Nice grey gloss or like a black lip for Halloween and autumn. Oh. So yes, I was very happy with my purchases from the cosmetics company. So much that I may have revisited it at another outlet. But hey ho, we'll get onto that bit. And and I don't know what to do next now. I'm stuck. So I think while we're on the terms of like makeup and all that bits and bobs, there is a shop there now. Is it called? It's I think it's Beauty Outlet. Beauty based. I'm sure it's Beauty Outlet. And they basically do everything and anything. Like they do such a good mixture. And well, let's just. carried away i love this shop and normally i do go a bit more ott especially with the bath bombs but i was kind of good i refrained from it this time and what's in here oh oh is it leaked oh a little bit good job it was in a bag i just picked up a little beauty outlet nail polish remover this was one pound but i love this because it's like my primark one you know where you put the cotton pad on and then it just like pumps it up and you can away you go you haven't got to worry about it so that can go on there because it's only leaked a little bit thank goodness it was in another bag and then let's shimmy around did i need any more bath bombs no do i always stock up when i go there yes so three for me is actually quite it's quite reasonable for me my lovelies so they are from the company bomb cosmetics now I love this brand because they used to have a little shop up by where Nana lives up north in Kremlin and, and Metro Centre. I think with all of the palaver with COVID, they've now gone to online only, which it does sadden me. But if I can still pick them up at my outlets, best believe I will. So they're three for a tenner. And I picked up a little raccoon. Look at him. I picked up a piggy one. I was like, oh my God, how can I not have a piggy one coming into spring and summer? And then, you know the drill, your girl's already got to have a unicorn. These are so good. If you can get these, I think they're going to start to branch out in like maybe little card shops and little homeware, gift shops, garden centres. So if you see, as I say, Bomb Cosmetics, check them out. They do shower jellies. They do like uh, different shower gels. But I just stick with bath bombs because I know they work for me and I love the smell. And if you could smell my room now. It's like a little heaven. And then I literally just picked up random bits and bobs. I picked up a little 
face mask for a pound, a little pink, white and blue camo one because can you ever have enough face masks at the moment? I picked up this for £1.49 because my one is rancid and it's almost on the edge. And it's just one of these six step nail buffers. I'll probably go into more detail on this when I do my little glow up because these are great in between stages of when I do my gels, taking it off, nourishing my nails. These are a bargain and can be quite pricey in some places as well. Let me tell you that. And then, you know the task of having to clean your makeup brushes. <sighs> yeah, that is inevitable for me and I just can't bother. So I just picked up this little brush cleaner for $1.99. I've got my brush cleaning formula over there. I just need to be bothered to do it. Does anyone else feel me when I say I cannot be bothered to clean my brushes? What can I say? I'm a bit lazy. And then I also picked up from iLook just a brow pencil in shade 20 mid-brown. So you've got your little pencil bit at the end and then your little spoolie to brush it through because these eyebrows, let me tell you, they're going to be getting done in our little uh, pamper glow up video which as i say i think should be the next one or the next one after this so hey ho let's have a look see how it turns out and then this may be a little bit of a hint but when we are having our little pamper glow up video i may or may not need one of these a little tinting brush what could that be used for who knows? You'll have to check out the video and see. And then also I picked up four coloured nail files for $1.99. These are like nice large emery balls. The ones from Primark are like half the size. So I thought these are great just for like when I properly do my nail care, I can use those. And then they also have Sensational. So Sensational is the brand that I use to do my nails. However, they've become discontinued pretty much everywhere now. Boots don't do them and I think Argos have stopped doing them as well. So the only place I can get them now is Ashford. However, I have branched out and tried a few of the Miley products. But they're alright. But I like to stick... I'm very... This is where my OCD comes in and you're probably going to laugh at me. I like to stick with one brand. So like all of my stuff is sensational. Now I've started to get the Miley. So I've got the Miley gel removers and the base coat and top coat. Because I couldn't get that from Sensational. And I have got a few of their varnishes. Which are really good, I must admit. But... I'm thinking if I'm going to slowly transition over to Miley, I need to invest in a new lamp because my lamp is battered. She's probably at least 10 years still going strong. But I think if I'm going to have like a little bit of a revamp of my nail care, maybe I might treat myself to a new lamp. But I picked this up because this is actually really handy, even if I did change my lamp. It's just like a little cosmetics bag. So this was £5. And it's literally a little bag. I've got one of these now, but as I say, it's pretty rancid. And you can just put your top coats, your base coats, the lamp in there and all that jazz. And when I saw it for a five, I was like, you know what? When we do a big clean of that drawer, the bag needs to go. So we've got a little stock up of a bag. And then they had the nail polishes. Now, sensation nail. I used to pay £15 per nail varnish. You sometimes will get them on offer two for 25 they then brought out an express version which was a tenner a bowl not too bad however i managed to pick up two for 10 pound at the outlet so i didn't pick up two i picked up four so i've got four nail varnishes for 20 quid so i really desperately needed a new white so this is white lily and i also wanted a new little lemon so i picked up luscious lemon mum saw a pastel version and i was like you know me, if I have my nail colours, I like it to pop, I like it to be bright. So we went with the bright yellow. And then on the adverse effect, we got a couple more of the chromatic versions. I have got a few of these. I think I've got gold, silver, black and red. I haven't yet tried it because I think I'm going to have to really pay attention because you have to almost like put a powder on it and wipe it. It's a bit like high tech for me at the moment. I really need to like focus and see what I want. So... In this, you get the no white gel top coat, then you get the little applicator with the powder, and then I think you just put it under the lamp and put the top coat on as normal. But I got like a mystic purple, that was the one that mum liked, and then I like the unicorn one. So we shall see how they go. As I say, I'm not quite sure what colour I'm going to do my nails yet in my glow up because these are hanging on by a wing and a prayer, they're about a month old, which 
is good and isn't good because I think, oh my god, you ain't done your nails for a month. But that's the beauty of doing gels at home. You can get away with not having them done. And I know all the nail places have opened up and everything, but I haven't really been one. Oh, and as I say that, I've chipped the nail. Fabulous. So we're just going to have to be careful. I'm not going to show you too much of the hand now. But yeah, I've not really been one to ever really go and have my nails done. I've never had acrylics. All of my nails are my own. When they grow extremely long, people are like, you've got fake nails. I'm like, nah, I just look after them. But yeah, so Beauty Outlet, my lovelies. If you do see that about, pop in there. As I say, they've got everything and anything. They've got a few makeup brands, loads of W7. I was going to pick some bits up, but my skin has been quite temperamental at the moment. I don't know if it's because of the hay fever, but I thought I'm not going to start trying different makeups because I don't really want my face to explode in blotches. But... Let's go on with Calvin Klein. Now, I had a bit of a bigger splurge in here than I had anticipated for. I thought, oh, I'll just go in and look for a couple of new sets if they got them in the sale. And ended up coming out with a loungewear tracksuit. I don't know. You'll see it in the thing. And I think I'll probably try it on and insert a little clip once I do. You won't see me in the underwear. That's for sure. But yes, so... We got a bit carried away, so let me just get this out. They did, however, have a great set on bargain. Right. Did I even need any more Calvin Kleins? No. Did I get suckered in by the prices? You know I did. So let's start with. Ba -ba -da. Ah! It didn't want to be on. Right. So let's start with this one. I have seen this style for I'll probably say the past year, and I've always thought. You know what, we're going to try that, but I just never did. So when I saw it on the outlet, I was like, best believe I am. And they also had an extra 20% off when I was in there, so everyone was a winner. So the first thing I picked up was this little thong, which was normally £22 down to 14 And as I say, I got another 20% off. So this is a thong, just very basic. For reference, I'm about a size 10 to 12. I get everything in a medium from Calvin Klein, just like I like it a bit roomy. And then the bralette was 22 as opposed to 34 and I love this because it doesn't have any um, like a back strap or a clasp. So it's literally just slip on over like a crop top. And then as I say, the back is just plain with your little motif. And I have seen this, as I say, for about the past year. And I thought, you know what? Love a bit of red, as always, coming into summer. And I just think they're perfect under a mesh top, a little vest top. Those days when you don't really want to wear a bra, let's be perfectly honest. You can just whack it on and feel comfy now the showstopper of bargains oh my god so this is normally 30 pound and it was down to 21 but what did i get this i'm getting confused now was it the briefs oh sorry the briefs were the showstopper my bad so the top was 21 down from 30 31 they put the line through the thing and it makes it really hard to read. But hey-ho, this once again doesn't have any uh, class or anything. It's just a little basic grey one with a little cutout. Now, I don't actually have any grey Calvin Klein. So I thought, you know what, we'll try it. This was a showstopper, 20 down to £6. And I've got 20% off of that again. So I got these in a full brief style, you know, just for those days where I want to be comfy, I want to be covered, because the majority of my, actually, no, I think I've got a good mixture in my Calvin Klein's of like the thong bottoms and the full briefs, because Calvin Klein, you can get a full brief and still look nice. Let me tell you that, my lovelies. And then this, this was actually part of Calvin Klein's underwear section, which I've never bought from. As I say, I tend to stick with like, the sports bra versions i think that's what they call that style but i saw these and i thought you know what i'm going to treat myself so again all in a size medium these were 27 pounds down to 19 but as i say got 20 percent off again so they are a full brief with a lace front and then the back is just all silk so very not sheer though is it it could be a bit sheer so still feminine i loved the lace bit at the front and then I just died when I saw this. So the top was 42 down to 28. This does have the little fastening on the back like a bra, as I say, because it is from the bra range. But how cute is that? Thank goodness for adjustable straps because you know what your girls like. 
but I just love that. You've got the nice little lace band. And you know what? It gives me very lounge vibes. If you haven't seen my first impressions of lounge, I'll leave it down there up above. You know the drill. But it did give me like just that feminine vibe. And I was like, you know what? We're going to try it because I fell in love with the style of lounge once I had it on me. As you all know, I was very, not weirded out, but I felt very meh about not having like a bit of support and just a wire. But if they support me just as good as lounge, we're all going to be happy. Right. This is the top. This was a crew neck jumper. It was £65 down to £42. But as I say, we've got another 20% off of this. This is a good bit to everyone's taste. I just know it. But I have seen this. I think it come out last autumn. And you know me. I love a bit of tartan. And I had my eye on it. And I was like, oh. When I went in there, it was like it was calling my name. It was meant to be. So, this is part of a loungewear set that they say. But, I would quite happily pair this with jeans. I would quite happily pair it with cycling shorts. If it was just like a bit nippy and you wanted something to throw it over. I wouldn't wear it as pyjamas. It was in the pyjamas loungewear section. This is too nice for pyjamas. So, that was the top. And then the bottoms were £55 down to £27.50. And once again, I got 20% off of that. The, oh, they just feel so nice. So as I say, I'm not going to do anything by holding them up, but I will insert a little try-on clip. You've just got the nice elasticated waistband. And as I say, I picked these up in a medium. Now the bottoms, I'm not going to lie, do look a tad big, but I thought, you know what? It don't matter because I would rather have it a bit big so it's a bit more slouchy than having it tight. So yes, hopefully, I haven't tried this on yet, so you would have seen it in the try-on clip. But hopefully this is a big success and yes, I'm very happy that I managed to get my hands on it at a discounted rate. So that was our little venture into Calvin Klein. And now Calvin Klein was at the other outlets as well, I believe. But Mama G was like, no, you're not going in. You've got your fix. That's it. You're done. So I was like, okay. So I'm leaving the best two shops to last for Ashford. If you know me, you will know my love for these two shops. So let's just get into it. So I went in there originally to buy a pair of boots and they didn't have my size. And I thought, you know what? I'm not just going to get a pair of boots for the sake of it. I'm going to wait and see if I can get them on the Doc Martin website. But your girl went into Doc. And I actually managed to pick something up that I'd seen on their sale on the website. And I loved it. It's not going to be to everyone's taste. I mean, that's probably just my style in general. It was £39 down to 19 and ah, it's just like this little quilted now you can have it as what i would call a man bag a side strap bag it's got a little handle so you can hold it you can also change it and have it almost as like a little underarm i don't quite know what i'm going to do with this but this is a great size to put my camera in and it's waterproof it's a great size inside and also i absolutely love the inside because it is the classic like mustard yellow so I was like, you know what, as soon as I saw that, I was like, right, they ain't got the boots. I'm going to treat myself to the little bag. And then on the theme with like the yellow, I wanted some socks. I haven't got any Doc Martin socks. And I thought, you know what, when I wear my knee highs or my three quarters, it'd be really nice just to have a little light type of sock poking out. So these were £8 down to four. these ones. These are quite high ones, I believe. And they're just the mustard yellow. Now, I don't have any boots this colour, but I thought this part is what you're going to see out. And I think that with the classic black leather of the ones that I was thinking are going to go quite nice. And then I went for like, is it Beetlejuice vibes? These were six down to three. And these ones, they're very simple. They're just going to have the plain black bit on the top, which is perfect for if I want to wear my more colourful Doc Martens, I can just have a plain black poking through. But love them. They had so many different types of socks belts buckles all of that i was hoping to try and get some scarves i have seen some scarves on their website but they said it just wasn't the season yet so maybe if we have a little detour christmas time i might be able to pick up some scarves loved this this was eight pound down to four and then when we got to the checkout she was like they're actually two quid so i was like what a bargain i just got myself a new little key ring can you see that it's just the stomping boot as Brandon calls my boots. He's like, when I'm in my Doc Martens, you're in your stomping boots. And this 
Also, love the bag. I've got two big ones of these when I got some boots when we last went. And they're perfect, like, if you're going out and you don't, like, food shopping. You don't want to take a big bag. This one is perfect size. And I use the bigger ones if we're going, like, for a picnic or anything like that. This was in the men's department, but hey ho. You know I wear all gender clothing. It doesn't matter to me. I picked it up in a large. It was £30 down to £15, so half price. And it's got the boots on. I absolutely loved this when I saw it. And I thought they had a Doc Martin in Braintree. They didn't. And I was gutted because I'd seen a couple of more designs of these. But I was like, hey ho, I can try it, style it, see how it goes. I think I'll pop a little clip just showing you it on. Because I'm thinking this, I'm going to be like a record on repeat. Cycling shorts or jeans, anything like that. Just very cash vibes. And if I love it... I will probably go back and get some more in the winter time, as I say, because if I remember correctly, last winter, they used to have these really nice, like, mustard, maroon, burgundy, like, emerald green colours. So, absolutely love that. And I'm just checking, just to double check, our last bag, my lovelies. Yankee! Right. I'm not going to lie, I was a bit disappointed when I got there. Um, we spoke to the lady and they had no tea lights, hardly any like new, new candles. And she said that they've been bought out, so they're now independent. And I think that means basically they don't get the stock from the shops past season. So they have to still buy in the stock, I think. So they aren't able to offer as many or at the best deals. So I still managed to pick up a few good bargains, you know me. I picked this up. It was £19.99 down to £10. Yes, it is Christmas themed and I thought it's perfect to go away for Christmas. So it's just this gorgeous three tree stand. And then you've got your little tea lights in there. So I can have that on my unit this year. Be glistening away like I'm in a little forest. Not going to lie, the majority of this stuff in here is loose. I stocked up on my votive seeing as I could get my uh, tea lights. But Rest assured, I think I'm going to pop to Ikea and Asda and I can stock up them because I love her tea lights so much. And then I picked up another Christmas thing. Don't shout at me. 15 quid down to 7.50. And it is just, once again, a tea light holder, but it's in the Christmas tree shape. So you put your little tea light in there. You can have it front facing or I would have it like this so you can just see it glistening through the little holes there. So they were my little Christmas purchases. Right, I'm slowly losing room here and we haven't even got on to the other two outlets yet. Fan dabby dozy. What I'll do, let me unwrap these. We'll do a little time lapse because otherwise this video, well, it's already long enough looking at it. I'm looking in the thing and I'm thinking, my God, we haven't even got through the other two outlets yet. So I hope you're comfy, my lovelies, and you've got your pen and paper handy. But yeah, let me stop rabbiting, unpack these, and I'll get back to you in a second. Right, so in the bag, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, they have an offer on their wax melts, and it is 25 ah, wax melts for £20. So I'm not going to get a mat. Actually, I'll get a few out to show you the scents. I picked up some lime. We've got some votives. Well, actually, we've got quite a lot of votives. I did get a couple of wax melts as well. I think I only got five wax melts just to top up my little selection. We got some festive cocktail. What did we get? Sunshine yellow, pomegranate, sweet honeycomb. I stocked up on the wax melts and votive candles because they were the main ones. And then picked up five candles. So the first two I picked up, these were half price. So they was down to 12 50 and they are the Christmas scents. And you know what? I don't care. Yes, I'm buying Christmas candles in April and I absolutely love it. So, of course, my two favourite Christmas cookie and frosty gingerbread. When I saw these, I was like, you're going straight in my little woven basket. And off we poddled, loving life. Then these were 3 for 24 Now, the large ones have gone up. It used to be three large ones for 30 and now they were three for 39 And I was like... I still have a few large ones left, I thought, so I don't need them, but I'll pick up three, can I even grab them? Three mini ones. So, I picked up an autumnal scent, this was Clementine Spice. 
love it and they also had pumpkin spice latte there but i was like nope i'm gonna literally just use that up so we've got a clementine spice this is perfect for an autumn transition candle you know what i'm like and then i picked up two for the spring summer months we got crisp apple and jasmine and this one pure like red lovely juicy apples and you do smell like the little fruitiness and the freshness of the jasmine i'm now trying not to knock everything over and then of course i needed to get a pink one this was simply sweet pea very weird to say with this one it is sweet and that's about it but i loved the color i love the design and this is going to probably be a little perfect one for the bathroom i think and then yes yeah, so, so we've got all of our little votives ah, i don't want to drop them and that my lovelies is ashford done as i say if you can get on there it's probably just over an hour hour and a half from us i think because by the time we had to go to blue water and all of that but yes i highly recommend and now what one are we going to go on to next Let's do Braintree next. Right, so the next one is Braintree. Now, Braintree is probably the smallest out of all of the outlets, but they have quite a good variety, especially if you're moving out. There's a lot of homeware and like electricals for your kitchen. They have like Denby, Procook, a lot of places where you can also buy like some bedding. I think, are they like boundary meal or places where you get like cushions and all of that they obviously still do have like your ralph lauren your ted baker i think they have a lot of like hiking or outdoor wear shops that's very good there um nike was there body shop was i don't know but body shop was more expensive than the shops a shower gel was five pound and they were charging 550 so i was a little bit annoyed at that because i wanted to stock up on a few bits and bobs but no we did adventure there this was predominantly bits for dada here so let's start i love this shop pro cook if you have never been to pro cook go in it go online anything they are so good and affordable so first thing dada wanted a new wok it's only for him so he don't need a huge one we got a 31 centimeter wok and i think this was 10 or 12 pound i want to say so that is his, that is what he has been nagging me because he wants to do a stir fry and obviously he can't because he hasn't got his new wok. And then I picked these up for me for when I move out because I thought they were super handy, love the design of them. They are electronic scales but they've got all like the units of measures on there. You know like that thing I got from Next which had all like the bits and bobs on the board. So this has got your gas temperature, your Fahrenheit, your weights, your grams, your cups, all of that jazz. So I quite like that and these were £12 down from 20 and then I always pick up, these are 50p right and you're probably going to think what a waste, they are so so handy, they're little um, sauce pots, there we go, let's not smash it, let's say 50p but they're just little sauce pots, now these are perfect when I do my bread and oils because I don't want to be having a whole bowl to put like some balsamic vinegar and garlic oil on. So we do them. They do a size up for a pound. There's a larger size for 150 and then there's a giant one for two quid. But I like the baby ones, you know. And then Dada also said he needed a salt grinder. Well, he said salt, then he said pepper, then he went back to salt. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get you a plain one. And then you can put whatever you want in because they did have ones that already had the salt and pepper in. But as I say, he couldn't remember what he'd done. So I picked him up a little stainless steel one. This was £10, but you might think you can get these a lot cheaper. But the quality of this is really good. We've got one and you can't go wrong with it. So I think he just unscrews the top, puts his bits and bobs and off he goes. So that is another thing he has been nagging me for. And on the terms of Dada, he wanted a new frying pan but he likes the frying pans where you have like the lip on them where they go up a bit so we saw this one because the ones in pro cook are like really good quality and they are about like 30 pound minimum for a pan and he was like i ain't paying that so this one we picked up was 29.50 down to 20.50 down to 14 pound so it's a 32 centimeter diameter uh, t-fell pan and then as you can see it's quite high lipped so that's what he likes. So if he can do his eggs and all his bits and bobs. So yes, as I say, if you are moving or you're looking at like revamping your kitchen 
and you're not too far from Braintree. As I say, Braintree is probably the closest to us. It's about, I'd say, 20, 25 minutes on a good day. There are times where it has been over an hour because of traffic, but hey ho, what can you do? But yes, if you are moving out or looking to revamp your home, kitchen especially, Braintree has a lot of different shops for that, and I would highly, highly recommend. Right. Yes, I detoured again, but I didn't get any more bags. These I picked up because they were in the sale, obviously, and then they had a further 20 or 30% off. So I picked up a couple of little tops. I get them in a size 2, which is a UK 10. So this I thought was just lovely for the summer months. As I say, I will put little clips of me wearing these so you can see them on. It does look quite stretchy, so I like that. And as I say, this one was da -da -da, supposed to be 49 and it was down to 29 And I was going to say, I'm sure it was like 25 or 30% extra off. So I picked that up because I haven't really got any Ted Baker clothing. I've only got like their bags. And the only clothing I actually do have are their coats. So wanted a little something different. Now, my lovelies, this was £120 down to... 60 oh and you've got an extra 40% off so 60 40 12 24 60 40 36 pound I got this top for and it was supposed to be 120 now you might look at that and think ew I first of all love the color of this I also think it would match perfectly with the coat that Dada got me at Christmas and I've also got a few things for it so I could have it as a blouse just, it's quite low though, so maybe like with a little cheeky bralette underneath. But also, if it's those days where it's a little bit chilly, but not chilly enough for a big coat, I could have a vest top or a crop top and put it over and almost have it like a little jacket style. Jacket, shacket. So I thought it was very versatile. And when I saw it, I absolutely fell in love. Right. The gift company. Now, last time we went down there, I loved it. I come out heaps and heaps of bags this time however i don't want to sound horrible but has something leaked oh no sorry i thought something had leaked there it was just the box on my very cold leg so i thought god everything's going can i get my words there right last time we went there we come out heaps and heaps lovely i don't know what it was this time we went in i don't know if it's been took over but it just wasn't the same ambiance. I found the staff to be quite frosty, which I don't like to bad mouth people, but if you're going in and like you're going to be spending money and you're having an experience, I don't think it takes much to like just give someone a smile. And also I went in and as we was going through, my mask come down under my nose. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not one of these who will always pull it up because when it covers my nose, it steams my glasses and I can't see. And I haven't really been told, a few shops have said to me, oh, would you mind just putting it up? And I said, oh, yeah, no worries, da, 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 da. But this one woman, she came on, she was like, uh, pull your mask over your nose. I was like, excuse me? She was like, your mask has got to be over your nose. I was like, right. I was like, well, I'm not going to be able to see anything. And I was standing in the glass section, and I was turning around, and I was like, well, don't mind if I smash the glass in. And when we got to the checkout, I said to mum, I'm going to go outside, because the woman was just standing there staring. And you know when you think, like, in all two minds, I felt like saying to mum, just leave the bits and we'll go. But I really wanted these bits. So I thought, no, I still want them. But, yeah, I'm not... I don't know what it was. The last time we went, the service was so lovely and the ladies were so friendly. But this time, it was just like... They was just eyeing you all the time. And I say, the whole thing with the mask, I thought, there's a way of speaking to someone about it. And, yeah, it just got my back up. So I think I could have spent a lot more because they do candles to match these bits that I got. But to be honest, I just didn't want. And then, oh my God, mum come out and she was like, do you know how much they've charged for that bag? I was like, 10p. She was like, 30p for a carrier bag. So if you do go, I highly suggest taking your own bag. Or go there after you've got some bits and bobs to put in the other bag. But hey ho, that's my little rant over. It's just, I hope, I will still go there because I do like their products. But their service just wasn't great this time. Anyway, picked up two diffusers from there. They're £15 down to £5 love the style of these and i picked them up in seville oranges which i've already had and then a pomegranate and orange i thought we'll try and they are just so classy you get the black reed diffuser sticks which i absolutely love and then it is a hundred mil bottle so 
can't go wrong for a fiver, but as I say, just left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth for this one. And then this I thought was good. This was five pounds. And my idea of this, I'm thinking for the summer, when I do me pins or me cocktails, it's just a kilner jar. And on this bit, it showed you can write bits and bobs on there if you want your chalk, but I'm just going to keep it plain because I'm probably going to be shooting up whatever I put in there all the time anyway. But yes, yeah, so we got that. So gift company, love your products, but maybe just have a little bit of patience with people. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, when you come out of the gift company, Cadbury's is just next door. So of course, once again, Dada had his list, I had my list, and we got a little carried away. I picked up this little guy, he was four pound. I know he's tiny, but you know me, I love to get a good little souvenir, I can't help it. So we picked him up, and then, this is like quite bad. This is now where you're gonna see how much of a chocoholic family we really are. This isn't all for me, this is like the da da too. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten bars of chocolate. Not all mine, some of these are da da's too. So let's go through these actually. I picked Brandon up too. I picked him up Milka, which I think these were two for two quid. I picked him up a Happy Cow, which I think is milk and white chocolate mix. And then I picked him up Funfetti, which I think they have like little Smarties in, or like a Smarty juke. So they was to go with Brandon's bits. And then Dad, as I say, only has whole nuts or dairy milk plain. So we got these were two for four pounds, I think, the big bars. Two big whole nuts and two big dairy milks. Those are for him. And then Mum picked herself up for 90p a little Bourneville dark chocolate. Mum loves a bit of dark chocolate. I'm not too bad. It gives me a headache though. And then I picked a bar up for myself and a bar up for Dad. I've been wanting to get this everywhere and nowhere has it in stock. It's the Mini Eggs one. Mini Eggs Cadbury bar. So cannot wait to try that. And then, oh, I picked myself up a little snowman. I think he was like 20 or 25p because obviously it's from the Christmas stock and I've got until the end of April to eat him. So probably by the time you see this, is it the last week of April? Yeah, that will be demolished in my belly. And then, oh, I've got two of him, sorry. And then they do like these bags and I think the bags range from £1 or £1.50 up to like £3 depending what you get. So we got quite a lot so i picked up one of these for dad and one for us i think these were like 50p they are mini mini cream eggs oh why is my phone buzzing it's better not be dada no i think he's got the gist that i'm filming go away so we picked up two packs they're 15 packs of flakes so we've got those one for dada one for us Again, we got two packs of twirls, one for Dada, one for us. I love a good twirl. And then we picked these up for Dad, but I'm not going to lie. I think I might take half of these because these are the actual Hazel Worlds roses. So I think I might take half for them and not tell him because that is a big bag. He doesn't need all of it. And now my lovelies, I've been wanting to try this shop for ages. When I say ages, I mean ages. And, as you can tell, got a little carried away. So, this was Wit Arts of Chelsea. Ooh, that's cold chocolate on my leg. Let's wrap myself up in that blanket, because that is chilly. Right. God, this video is going to be over an hour with me keep rabbiting on, ain't it? But hey-ho. So, Wit Arts of Chelsea, they, all I hear about Wit Arts is, you've got to try that hot chocolate. Oh, my God, the white hot chocolate. Da-da-da-da-da. So, we went in and we got a little carried away, but we got a bit of a bargain. So, mum picked herself up a few bits. I was like, go on, Mama G, having a little splurge and treating yourself. As you all know, Mama G don't really treat herself. She's very minimalistic. So, she picked this up and this was £6 down to one eighty. So, I think it's a sugar pot. Correct me if I'm wrong. But mum says she's just going to use it to like, put the tea bags in instead of having them on the side. And then to go with that, she bought herself a little mug to match it. So she got a new mug and a little like sugar, tea, whatever she's going to use it. And this was £8 down to £2.40. Now, this is like a really quirky style. They had it in 
a green, a grey and a black. But she went with like an orange, I think. You know, like a pop of colour for the summer months coming up. And then we have two, four, six, eight, ten bottles in here. And we've also got this little thing, join the conversation, top taster community. I don't quite know what this is. I don't know if it's samples. We'll have a look at that once we put it in the kitchen. But I did get carried away. I'm not going to lie. So I picked up four tins of hot chocolate. So it was two for 12, four for 20, and six for 26, 28. I can't remember. So I picked up the original luxury hot chocolate this is vegan also and then i also picked up the luxury white hot chocolate which as i say is what i hear everyone and anyone talking about and whenever people get nice hampers at christmas it's always got a bit of wittart in it i also thought you know what we'll have another one of each but i've got a little bit of a twist we picked up the minty hot chocolate which I love a bit of mint you know me after eights all the way and also a strawberry flavored white hot chocolate I cannot wait to try these because if they are as good as what I keep hearing, I am very excited. However, when we was walking around, the lady was coming around with these little tasters and she said, oh, would you like to try some of our summer teas? You know me, I love a good fruit tea. I'm normally just an Asda or Tesco fruit tea bag kind of person and that's about it. She said, no, this is like instant tea. So it's like instant hot chocolate or instant coffee powder. But it's instant tea, so you don't have to put it... Because I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to get one of them teapots with the tea strainer. No, no, this literally, you just mix it in like you would do a hot chocolate or a coffee. But it's tea. Oh, my God, my lovelies. What a bargain. So, I tried two flavours out of four. But, you know, I, like, I had to get them all. So... These were an absolute steal. So they're normally £8 a pop and they was down to a quid. A quid! So I mean it was rude not to. So the ones that I tried were Pink Lemonade, which I picked up two pots. Absolutely love the packaging, may I say. And absolutely the colours, yes, cannot wait to put these out. I've got nowhere to put them out to put them out in like the little coffee section and then i also tried the strawberry and vanilla instant tea oh my god if you like straw you know like strawberries and cream but think of vanilla cream in a hot tea oh my god you need this good thing with these as well you don't actually have to have them as a hot tea it does say on the back you can do them as like a cold tea so you could almost get like an iced tea out of them also picked up because we hadn't tried these and i was like we were starting to get a bit excessive with the pot. So I was like, we'll just pick one each of these up. English fruit tea. Very nice. And also a lemon and lime. So I am very excited. And you know, they've been sitting in that bag for a week. And I'm like, I really want to try hot chocolate. I really want a fruit tea. But I haven't. My restraint has been great. And on that note, my lovelies, that was all we got from Braintree. And let's go on to buy Sister Bista, however you say it, for the last part of this haul i do apologize for the length of this video but if you want to go out and get the bargains you need to know where to go right so yes let's get on to buy a sister slash bitch start for the last bit of this haul <laughs> right i'm now literally perched on the side of my bed so apologies if i look a little awkward but yes so buy sister buy sister we had a little bit of a splurge in you my darling but i was very good to what i could have been I went into Viv and I saw about four bags and a few jewellery pieces, but I thought no, because if I want to get my new bag, I'd rather put the money towards that than have like a last season bag and actually treat myself to a nice new bag. But let's start off with a little trip in Radley. So Mama G, once again, she was a feeling of a splurge. She picked up this little um, pouch because I bought her a purse and a watch quite a few years back. And she don't want to use them because she hasn't got a bag with it. And mum isn't like me. She doesn't like a proper handbag. She likes these, I call them like toiletry pouches. So this was £10 and I think it was down to like 6 
Because her purse is pink, she loves this. So it's just Bradley both sides. And she was like, you know what? I'm going to get myself that. So I was like, okie dokes. So I was like, do you sure you don't want the big bag to go with it? She was like, no, I just want that. I was like, okie dokes. Me, on the other hand, <laughs> I popped into DKNY. And oh my God, when I saw this, I fell in love. Once again, it's not going to be to everyone's taste. As I say, I don't think my fashion or my sense of style is to the majority of people's taste. But hey-ho, I think it's always better to be a bit unique than go with the crowd. So this was the little card holder, which was originally £60 and it was down to £14. So this might give you a little bit of a vibe for what the bag's like. So it's just this cute little credit card holder. You've got a zip at the front and a little two patches at the back. And as I say, £60 down to 14 I was just like, what? And then this little beauty was supposed to have been £180 and it was down to 50 They had this style print, so like the snakeskin print. They had in quite a few different styles. They had a tiny little barrel, a little flap over. But I quite like this style because I don't really have anything like it. Right, I do apologise because all of the handles are tied in. But basically, they call it, I think it's like an Alma-shaped bag. So it's literally diddy. So you have the little handle, but you also have a long crossbody one. As I say, what I'll do, once I unpack it all i'll put like a little clip just showing you actually it in its full glory because she's a little bit packaged up at the moment but yes that was my little splurge at dk and why i'm not gonna lie there was the like the three styles of that bag and i was like oh. mum was like just get one because she knows what i'm like and you guys know what i'm like with like mini bags if you've seen the primark hauls or even any type of haul there's always a mini bag and she was just like get one that you haven't got and it reminded me i've got a dkny one a bit larger in a nice green one you will see all of these when i eventually get around to doing my handbag collection but yeah i just quite like that because i haven't really got many of that i've got a few barrel stars and i've got a few flap overs but i just like that i thought that was cute as i say not to be to everyone's taste but hey ho Talking of not to everyone's taste, this just looks like a plain little black bag, my lovelies. But I went into an old friend of mine, which holds a dear place in my heart. I absolutely used to love this shop. And now I'm so happy because they've started to do it in Urban Outfitters. That is Juicy Couture. Now, it's not going to be for everyone's taste, I know already. I went for a short set. I've got a couple of tracksuits from there many many moons ago i picked them up and they are still fabulous so these are the little shorts they were they didn't have a price because they give you the brand new ones but it was 42 for the set and i think the top alone was supposed to be 70 or 80 pounds and then you normally pay about 40 quid for the bottom so i didn't think that was too bad so i got these red velour little shorts and then they just had the juicy in the corner i get all of mine in a medium a very elasticated you've got like the little the rope is almost it gives me like a boat vibe the type of rope it is but you'll see when you see the top it matches they had these in so many colors but i don't know what's happening with juicy whether they're trying to come away from their branding because they had loads of track suits and like my track suits as i say are from back in the day they've got the big juicy logo on the back they was plain velour now so i was like well i'm not gonna pay just for a plain one so i saw the short set and it had the juicy on and i was like i like that so this is just a little short sleeved like a tally material hoodie and then on the back let's get the hood over it just says juicy couture now as i say these are probably not going to be to everyone's taste i will insert a little picture of them on but for these i'm thinking quite a few uses perfect on holiday because it's that tiling material if i'm going to the pool or going up to the room chuck it on perfect for popping to the shops in these warm months as i say you might get a few stairs but hey ho i like a bit of juicy couture perfect just to lounge around the house in the top is perfect if I'm going for like a bit of a run. I can just slip this over if I want to have, not like a full jacket, but like half. The shorts I can sleep in. So I think it is very, very versatile. And that's why I love a bit of juicy. As I say, it's probably not going to be to everyone's cup of tea. But hey ho, this is why we have individuality, my lovelies. Right. <laughs> you know, it's a cosmetic company. We went back there and I picked up, I didn't go too bad this time. I 
only picked up four things. So we went in and I picked up some more setting sprays. These are perfect. I've got my MAC ones, but these are like travel size ones. So they were, it's rubbed the price off, but I think, oh God, have I just dropped my lipstick? Oh no. Lipstick's rolling away from us now. I think these are normally £25. Doesn't have it on there, but they was down to £12.80. So I just picked up, these are Smashbox's little primers, but they are different um, cosmic celebrations. So you've got Earth Photo, Water Photo, Fire Photo, and Air Photo. So you know me, I love that. I can't remember if you know in my makeup collection, I have the NYX Earth Wind Fire, like all the element palettes. I think I need to do a updated makeup now because I've got a few little bits. Once I've tried and tested them all, I shall let you know. And then my lovelies, you will know my love for MAC and especially you will know my love for Velvet Teddy. So these are supposed to be £18 and they was down to £12.25. I picked up another Velvet Teddy because you can never go wrong with having that. So Velvet Teddy is this perfect nude. And I picked up this one, Marrakesh, which is almost like a ready brownie nude in a way they are only the little oh actually no are these a full size oh they are i thought they was the minis oh my god even better so this is marrakesh as i say this is a very dark brown but it's got a hint of red and then oh my god that means i'm so excited because my velvet teddy is only the mini one yay so i can keep velvet teddy my mini one in my purse now and then i've actually got a proper one. Oh my god i love it yes velvet teddy you will know i've raved about this in my monthly favorites majority of time if you see me with a nude it's either velvet teddy or whirl from mac or nyx sandstorm soft spoke they're like my four go-to nude combos the mac lipsticks are matte whereas the nyx are matte but they're of a liquid form so yeah, so I think I might, once everything's put away, I think we might do a little new updated makeup collection, as I say, and I'll try and get those filmed when I do the handbag collection, and we could just have a little catch up, we need to do a bit more skincare collection, love it. Talking about skincare and makeup, can you tell how excited I am? I, apart from the powder that Brandon's sister gave me, have never had a Charlotte Tilbury product and Brandon's sister loves it. Like she has quite a bit. I think it's like Charlotte Tilbury, Bobbi Brand she used to use, but I have never owned, apart from the powder she gave me, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> apart from that powder, I haven't had any other Charlotte Tilbury products and I do need to replenish my powder. Unfortunately, at the outlet, it was more lip products. They had a foundation there and some skincare. As I say, my skin has been very temperamental, so I don't wanna be messing around with foundations yet. But I did go in, mum said, just pick up a few bits, which I did. I only picked up three bits, but the total did come to 99 pounds. But if for what they are, they are good, then I can't complain. So the first thing I picked up, this was £45, I believe. It's a Charlotte's Magic Skin Secrets Ultimate Travel Size Skincare Innovations. So it's got the Goddess Skin Clay Mask, the Crystal Serum Elixir, Charlotte's Magic Cream, and a Wonder Glow Soft Focus Primer. Now I saw this, and this cream, the Magic Cream, Everyone I know, my girl at work has it and she swears by it. So I thought, you know what? That cream is hella pricey. I think it's like 80 or 90 pounds for the pot. And I thought, I can't justify paying that if I've never tried it. So I thought, I like these little samples because in essence, it's just over a tenner, a little pot. But if a full one retails at 80 quid, I think I've got a good little bargain. So I am very excited to use that. And I need to change over my skincare bit now because this can go in with my Elemis. Who do I think I am? Like, don't get me wrong, I still love me body shop and me L'Oreal, but I do want to try and invest in like a little bit more decent skincare. So, might have a little first impressions or when I do like me glow up or a pamper. Actually, no, glow up, I don't think I'll be doing like proper, proper skincare. If we do like a vlog and I have a proper skincare night, we'll try all of these out, my lovelies. Because as I say, the products on their own are quite expensive, but if they work, they work. Now, I'm not going to lie, I was suckered in by this for the packaging. 
So this was £35 and I think the lady said it retails at normally £60 or near on that amount. It's the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. Now first of all, the box, fan dabby dozy. When they had it out in the shop, I was like, oh, and the woman said, would you like me to swatch it for you? And I was like, yeah, okay then. Loved it. Now, the powder is gold, but this is a silver packaging. But I don't mind it. I quite like that. And just you wait. So this is a highlighter for your face and body. You can see the camera there. So you've got a gorgeous full length mirror. Full length, a full size. You know what I mean, my lovelies. And then just look at the highlighter. The sheen of it. I don't want to swatch this because I know what it's like. So as I say, I will do it when we have our little next like get ready with me video and all of that jazz. Or I might just save all the bits of makeup and skincare that I've got today and maybe do like a first impressions with it. I don't quite know yet. We shall see how it goes. But as I say, make sure you've got that little notification bell turned on because we're going to have a few extra uploads coming along. So you don't want to miss out on that. And then this was £19. I think the lady said it was about £28, £29 normally. And it's Charlotte Jewel Lips Easy to Apply Dazzling Diamond Gloss. Now, first of all, the packaging was pink. So you know your girl was sold it's in the scent scent shade pillow talk which is the one that i hear everyone talking about they had it in the normal tool like vial bottles but this one had the little pink little sparkly one so you know your girl had to get the pink one so yes i am very excited to be trying all of them out and when i come out mum said oh what'd you get i said i only got three bits she went oh good girl she saw the receipt, she was like, that's almost £100, Shan. I was like, but mum, the retail value, I've had a bit of a saving. She was like, hmm, hmm. Yeah, she weren't happy with me. But hey-ho, it, it was towards the end of the shopping trip, so we didn't have to have much conversation going on before we went to the car. Bless her. And then my last two bits, my lovelies. You know my love for the little blue bag. And also... I got something from the White Company. Who is she? You will never catch me buying White Company in the shop unless there is a sale on because that shop is expensive. They did have a Joe Malone's at Bicester Vista, however you say it, but the queue for that, and I thought I'm not because I'd just been in Charlotte Tilbury and I thought if I go in and buy something else, mum's going to absolutely have a mess. So I did see clear of Joe Malone, but that could possibly be one for my next visit. And also Pen Halligans, Pen Hagians. And Halligan's pen. It's like the really niche aftershave perfume shop. I didn't venture in there because I was a bit scared because there was so much variety and I thought, oh my god, I could spend a lot of money if I found something I liked. So went into the white company. I must say the service loved it. And it's my first little white company bag. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna keep that in my Charlotte Tilbury bag. That's probably really sad to some people, but I'm like, hey ho. Even though it's an outlet, I've still bought something from it. So, they had the big three wick candles, and I think they were 60 down to £36. I still weren't paying £36 for a candle. So, I picked up this little one, and it's in their classic winter scent that I've heard a lot about. And this was £7. It's just a little winter votive candle in essence, but I thought, you know what, we can give it a go. Where I did have a little bit of a splurge... They do like room sprays, room mists. Oh my God, you need to try them. So I picked up four because I couldn't decide on the scent. So I just picked them all up to be perfectly honest. Ah, let's try not to drop them. And these were £16 down to £10. Oh, let me just, there we go. So I'm not going to spray them about because I did spray quite a lot in the shop and I know what they smell like. And they smell fabulous. But if you are going down that way or the scent you want to look at. So I picked up white Pompelmo. This was grapefruit, lemon and lime. Love the bottles. Just love everything about it. And then I picked up fresh grapefruit, grapefruit, jasmine and orange flower. So as I say, these are how many mils? 100 mils. And the lady said to me, a lot of people, because they smell so nice, they just have them as like a little perfume. She's like, you don't have to use them as a home spray. Like, she knows people just use them as perfume. So, hey-ho, I've got like two in one over there. Let's not pull the lid off, Sham. 
and what else have we got so musty this was watermelon cucumber and basil this probably isn't gonna be to everyone's taste but it's absolutely phenomenal and then seville orange lavender and neroli very very simple so yes i treated myself to a few little bits from white company and i've saved the best till last i did pop in here just to have a look and we all know if it's Shirovsky, I can't just have a look. And I picked up four bits. However, one bit is for Bubs, who, as I'm filming this, she's not here yet, but she's very, very soon to be here. So I've just picked up a little something for Bubba. Actually, no. I'm not going to show you in case Mama to be is watching, because I want it to be a surprise. This is like a little push present, you know? Well, is that a thing, a push present? I've heard of it. I don't know if it's more American fried, but hey ho. Let me quickly get these three bits out and then I will come back and show you the last little bits of the hallmark. Right, so I really wanted these last year, but you had to be a member of the Shirovsky Crystal Society, which is kind of like you have your rewards card, which mum has, and then there's like an elite society that you can pay to be a member of every year. I think it's like £60 a year. And mum was like, I'm not paying to be a member just so you can get these bits so i was like oh, okay didn't think nothing of it when i walked in and i saw these and they were 59 pounds originally down to 29 i was like oh my god i need them because i can get a shirovsky crystal society little collection and not have to pay the membership so it's a little collection of penguins i don't quite know how best to show you i'm hoping it's gonna pick up on camera i was trying to show you the three of them all together so they are literally Diddy. So we have Mama Penguin. There she is. She's pink with yellow little feet. Then we have Daddy Penguin. He's blue with his nice little lips. And then we have, this is my favourite, they have a Grandad Penguin. And look, he's even got a little walking stick. They didn't have a nan in the collection because it was only the three. Trust me, I researched this collection so much last year because I really wanted the set of them. And I was just like, no. They did have two baby penguins, but it was like £26 for the babies. And the babies were like, did he? And I thought, I don't really justify paying that when it's only like £3 extra for the big ones. So, yes. I got my three little sets. And I say, I got like a push present or a little present for Bubba who's not here as I'm filming this but she is imminently due end of the month so ah, cannot wait my lovelies if you see you see all this that means the whole video is done <laughs> so my lovelies I do apologize I know this video is going to be long 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 but as I say I will have put at the beginning the timestamps for each of the outlets so if you was more interested in one particular outlet to the other you could go and have a look at that by all means I just need to say this I'm not bragging I'm not showing off this is just you know me your girl loves to shop and we've been cooped up since before Christmas and when everything opened up I thought you know what it's not like I'm going to London I'm not going to Selfridges and I'm spending thousands which if you can and you want to you go do you I'm very jealous if you can because my bank balance won't stretch to that but I hit up the outlets there is an outlet in Cheshire I'd love to go to and there's one I think down in Portsmouth or Southampton but these are the three that I've been to before and I kind of knew the gist so I was like we'll go there have a look have some road trips out and it's all hunky-dory as I say please do not think I'm bragging anything about this if you've got any questions about the outlets or rough prices anything you need to know just leave it down in the comments box and I will get back to you as I say love having a chit chat with you guys and if you want to know like is there this store there is there that store actually what I'll do I'll leave in the descriptions box as well like a direct link to each of the outlets so you can go and have a look at like their restaurants if they've got any offers on parking tariffs all of that jazz so as I say Please don't think I'm bragging. That's the last thing. If you know me, you've been watching me, you know that bragging and that's just not me. I'm just here to show you the bargains that we can have, the good deals of the day. And yes, that is all that I intend to do. And this is a big splurge. I'm not going to lie. Like I have spent quite a bit, but it's not happening every day. And I think for what I've spent over four months of being cooped up, it kind of equals out probably what I would have spent in the shops, but probably I would have, the stuff I would have bought in the shops maybe would have been more took, whereas this is like genuine stuff that I'm going to want, I'm going to need, there's plenty of chocolates, there's plenty of sweets. 
so yeah we've got some new skincare new makeup as i say keep tuned because i'm going to do like a little zero to 100 video i think where we're going to sort the nails out sort the brows out sort the hair out have like a little bit of a pamper and then i think coming into the summer months we're going to be having like some spring morning routines and evening routines where i think we shall try some of the skincare and some bits and bobs and maybe like some first impressions who knows i've got all these ideas as i say there will be extra uploads a few weeks of the months coming up but hey ho if you're sick of my face what can i say oh i don't know if that picked up on camera but my belly is telling me like wrap this up now we need to go and eat so if you did enjoy the video you know what to do guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below as i say leave me a comment anything you want to know regarding the outlets prices products anything like that and also if you haven't checked out the shopping vlog that would have been yesterday's video i'll leave it down there up above you know the drill and you can look at it all in its glory and how we got on and how we found the shopping experiences and say post lockdown but yes i definitely need to stop rabbiting because this video is extremely long i do apologize once again but if not take care and i shall see you on the next one